What did you do with that way? A new table for the next two levels. Tony Adderley in seat number one. 65,000. Two's empty. Paul Dudding three. What a session he had. What a session. 279,000. Very good friend, Ellie Biasek, to Paul Dunn in seat four. 130,000. Otto Richard, 140. Kev Stevens, 34. Joe Greenfield, 88. Barbie Slappers on 53 and Lee Duran on 200. We've got some chips on the table. Blind in the please. <laughs> We'll try and say hello to my friend Gas Chaps in the chat box. One of his mates on the table, Tony Adderley. With a blind at 2 4. Blinds 2,000, 4,000. table gets settled in we'll just show you the other two tables we're down to 24 which means we're four off the money Oh, wait, calm. 
Catching up with the outer table. Very, very busy car room as well. Very busy casino. Nice to see. I can see one Anthony Adley, Paul Dunn in three, in four. Is Ellie Biasek Otto Richard in five? There's Otto in the white shirt. Six is Kevin Stevens, and Kevin's still in. Kevin is still in in seat number six after being down to three big blinds when the blinds were 500 1000. Seat number seven is Joe, Joe Greenfield, Bobby Slappers in eight, and in nine is Lee Duran.
Don't forget to like the GUKPT Facebook page, GUKPT search bar, and also Twitter, GUKPT underscore updates. to the money we're down to 24 20 get the money we'll be filming the bubble and bringing it to you as best we can lines at 2000 4000 10 minutes of the level gone to survive the boats are made to go walking yeah a two outer to survive could be the turning point of your whole tournament Thank you. 
couple eliminations on the outer tables in the early stages of this level. Craig Borra, whose brother was in the chat box early on today, he has just finished short of the dock. Also lost one of the big stacks from the, our table before we didn't break. Leon Mills. Leon Mills is out. Flock for decent flock, really a paired, a paired flock. I like Babish might not like it, but uh, you gotta be thinking, can't really put him on a jack anymore. on the table this time for Tony Adley and yet again the, sh the old boots are on the table and this time no action and he shows oh my word I want him in raised 
No action on the table. <laughs> Not what you want. When you're trying to get yourself a stake with less than 20 bigs. I want them boots and I want them to get paid. 22 left. Two off the money, boys and girls. Two off the money. Tell all your friends. We're nearly on the bubble here in Brighton. Turnout in Warsaw at Junction 10 on the M6. There'll be plenty of online satellites, there'll be plenty of live satellites. 10 seats guaranteed on the Sunday before. We are there on the Wednesday with a start on the Thursday. 29th of May is when it starts. Get yourself a note in your diary. The 29th of May is when it starts. Four days of fun and frolics for the main event. Side events going on, there's an Omaha 150 satellites for the main event all weekend. Check the details, put it in your diary. Walsall, 28th of May, for the two seat, 10 seats guaranteed. performance what a great effort he tried and he tried he was down to three bigs it all goes in Lee with the Queens flops a set as well for a bit of overkill but Lee what a perf for Kevin what a performance Kevin Stevens was down to three big blinds at 500 1000 he gets it all in with pocket nines against Queens unfortunately comes up short and he is the 23rd person and we're down to we're all on 22 and we're on the bubble bubble as it is so unlucky for Kev thought it was going to be a story to tell all your friends and unfortunately Kev Stevens pulls up short a very unlucky set what a great effort the only problem 
they choose a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, choosing yeah, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 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 Seat number four. We travel around together. And Ellie is raising up and she doesn't realise how bad, bad a spot she's in. Paul Dunn. Otto's just going to flip the Montana banana straight into the muck. Should be four, but in here, she's staring him down. They are best of friends. Mm -hmm. oh, should be four, but in. He's never fooled an ace king. Really? Wow. Well, is that too much friendship going on? Or is that uh, knowing how Ellie plays? She's only going to be doing it with an absolute monster like aces or kings. But at least peel. But I'm not sure what it is, but... Yeah, everybody plays different, we all know what it's like. Tough situations, couple off the money, do want to want to get involved? No, we don't. We can uh, wait till the next big chance comes along. Would you have peeled in that situation? Would you have, or would you have four bit to find out exactly where you were? You get five bit, then maybe you could have got out of the way. Either way, they didn't want to tangle just two off the money yeah. and yet again Ellie picks up a nice hand Top five, 30 big blinds I don't think Tony Adler is going to be uh, Doing anything with the old ace do? Oh, I have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I also have one of those. <laughs> yep, three sure out. Three 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 out. Really? 
So we're on 2220, get the money, 1,100 pounds. The 20th. Short stacks and in the competition are all on 10 bigs. Joe Beavers, Aaron Helmore, and David Backler. They are all short stacks and they're all on the same table as well. On the third table, the only table in the main card room. Francois Goulet on 375, Lee Taylor in second on 305,000, and it was Paul Dunn in third. He lost about 30,000 to Ellie after raising up and uh, passing Ace King Pre. Time has got the ace king. So she under the gun raises Ellie calls up and down straight draw for Otto against top top. Defending, and I think if you're raising under the gun with Jack Queen and it comes 10 king, in the back draw, plus draw as well, I think you should be calling this. And then you need a plan. Yeah. The chances of that, obviously, the chance of Otto hitting an, hitting an ace for the Broadway. Ellie's got one of his outs, she's got one of the blockers, so... Uh, Alright guys, stop dealing at the end of the hand, please. Why don't we And he does call. Oh, 
Comes in here, we're gonna have a massive, massive, massive. Oh, oh, oh. If it comes in here, we're gonna have a massive pot. You are not kidding me. You are just kidding me. Wow. Elliot's already staring down and looking at his stack. Wow. Optional, Ellie. All in cup. I've got Broadway against two pairs she slams them down on the table wow just wow and the ten wow just what a cooler that is on the turn just Otto is not gonna take Ellie out but if the ace comes on the turn <laughs> boosh you be thinking I know what's happening, I have no idea. Just unbelievable. <laughs> so Ellie's gonna be down to ten bigs with twenty two left. Still sorting out the stacks. It looks like he's going to leave Ellie with that 40. She could have wished for. Very unlucky. There you go, third and a GUKPT in Blankenburg. <coughs> times on the GUKPT is Elliot cashed in the Goliath last year third in Reading last year as well in the 500 which equaled a third in Blankenburg she was the bubble for the final table in Stockton and she finished 11th in Portsmouth as well decent record for Ellie Biasek and there she's go over there you go She's got the 40,000, she shoved them all in. It looks like we're on tilt, but nope, we've got a proper hand.
So it looked like she was steaming there with the ten bigs in the middle, but it wasn't. So the rear's we saw, she's a proper hand. Double up or to survive the bubble when it arrives. She's down to 10 bigs. She jammed and got it through with Ace Jack. She lost a bit of a cooler when she got Ace King. And the turn gave her two pair, but it gave Otto the Broadway.
So Paul's still chief leader. 250,000 blinds. 2 4. He actually does get paid, it's fine. He's better than he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we could have it here, this could be the lot, this could be the lot, Paul's got Ace King again, Ellie's going to jump, big smile to Paul, the best friend again. Eight time, or is do we not want to get it all in the middle with, with nine? No, we're going to be racing. No, nope, she just calls, she just calls. She wants to see that flop. So gets out of the way. And the cut off. Flick that button. So Mickey boy, flick that button. Uh, 205,000 chips is a monster. He's got a massive hand pre. He knows there's been a raise and just a call. We could make it 30. 28, you think? Make it 28, see what happens. Well, he has raised up. Mm, we just made it 22. <laughs> and now Paul has already folded Ace King once. He did it only, and now this time he calls. And now Ellie well, probably get out of way with nines. Don't want to gamble. Yep, she gets out of the way with nines. She doesn't like it. And there we go, the king against the queens. How often do we see that? Queens or kings in the hand and it comes an ace or a king. Ellie, Ellie's pass was a good one. As we saw, she was so far behind to Joe anyway. Well, this could go check, check, Paul. Might, Joe might want to keep it nice and small. Yep, and that's exactly what he's doing. This might be a small bet now from uh, Paul. Paul might stick in a bet at about 25,000. And Joe will probably peel, but he doesn't want to get into too, too.
too deep a spot here, he doesn't want to lose too many chips here, so they could easily keep this relatively small, knowing we're on one off the bubble. It looks like it's cold and we've got the fiery clubs on the river. Which is exactly what we thought. Oh no. So 25, I went check check on the turn, sorry about that, and then it's uh, 25 on the river, and then a pass from Joe. Nice fold, Ellie saved herself the chips. So you pass Ace Queen one hand, and then you fold with Ace King, you win the hand the next hand. Still, still on the bubble bubble. Well, he likes this on the corner cover, doesn't he? Elias is on the corner cover, there's old, uh, old Paul Dunn, three times in the last five hands, he's had it. On, on about getting a rush, when you need it at the right time. five minutes left of the level for well, the blinds go to 25-5 
the money here in Brighton. 20 get the money. Well, Mr. Kimber's going on in the 150. What was the overlay, Mr. Kimber? What was the overlay? So the overlay in the 150 was 1300 and Paul in C3 is having the rush of cards you want in any stage of a competition needless to say it's even better when you're closer to the money Raise it up, the blind at 2 4. No defending the big blind from Ellie with seven bigs grinding away. She's grinding on and on and on. Can she survive to make the dosh? Shut up. Shut up. 
So we're on the bubble, as you can see, 30 minutes behind. Elliot is holding on and holding on and holding on. Not going to shove them in with anything less than Ace King. That will be guaranteed. Because it's either nothing or £1,100. There's a lot of difference. We are on uh, the bubble. Ellie is, uh, yeah, we're on the bubble, so obviously players are uh, just taking it nice and steady. Ellie's had a bit of a cooler. We had uh, Ace King against Jack Reed. And then comes Ten King. And then she's two player on the turn. Ace King uh, against Otto. And she crippled her stack. So she's all in for the three bigs. She's got three ten hearts. And there's me saying she'll never do it. She'll never shove all in less than Ace King. What are the blinds though? The blinds are two, two and a half, five. Oh wow, so she's got less than six bigs. Yeah. She kind of has to stick it in. Yeah, just go. Blinds are just going to do it two, four. So she had ten bigs at the start of the end. Yeah. Just. 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 I'm not holding ace nine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but this is a good player. What's he doing? He must like her. She must have pleaded with him to problems. Maybe he wants to <laughs> carry on in all seriousness. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's actually thinking if I knew I might have called him. No, 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 he's like you. Maybe he's not going to watch the ball. Maybe he's just going to watch the ball. Why? Do I show the shuffle? Yeah, I'll shuffle. No! <laughs> I'm just going to call it. There's no way I'm ever passing away oh. to a, a six big brain. Well, it's not actually. Let's go a bit. Oh, yeah. 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 Why, you can all take off your jackets. I've got success in the side. I've got a t-shirt. I've got two arms before me, you know, of course. Nine-eight. Pair of eights. It's three walls. Against my aces. How can I lose? The fellow actually said, how can I don't see how you can lose this one. No problem, just find it. You'll be alright. I'm fine, <laughs> mate. Thank you. I managed to win the side. You'd rather be a warm man. Yeah, but we're in the yeah, I have so I couldn't, even, I couldn't even leave. When, when the ante was 75. 300, 600 was 75. I won 100 chips. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, I still have my hands behind me to the other, the other tables to uh, finish before we do it. There she goes. You can just leave it mine. Try. you like. As you like. The day passes. The day passes. Next one. Is it 
about it. It's small vein, it's name of spades. And where is it? Oh, the big brains are definitely not passing here. Defended it, and he's dominated by Babis, and Babis is a top pair. So he's got a, got a lock on the hand. 8 9, you don't really want to commentate on this one, do you? <laughs> 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 he hasn't managed to find any, uh, any way out of this. Babis has got an absolute lock, isn't he? 99%. Mm. You're going to see on TV. Yeah, that is. As soon as Babis wins, he looked really interesting in the hand. I thought he might have had a big hand. So Elliot still with his seven bigs on the bubble. Four and six three is the big stack. Three hundred and twelve thousand. Okay. <laughs> Taking all in on the other table behind. Is that because everybody's standing <laughs> and uh, not everybody, only the desperate. <laughs> Thank you. 
still 21 left. 21, 20, 20, 20 at the 3 tables of 7. Mm. At the end of the gun, she's going to pass. Big, big stack Paul is, uh, is the big line. You don't really fancy tangling with a big stack, do you, when, the, uh, no. when you're on the ball? No, He's the guy who can knock everyone out. Mm. It's not good. Pass to Otto. Otto. He's passed his king at 8. Babis is passing. Queen 10 on the bottom. Are you going to raise that? No, he doesn't fancy tangling with a big stack. He's passed the queen 10 on the bottom. And what's Tony going to do? He's got 3-5 bullets suited. If I was Paul, I'd be setting him in for fun here. Set him right in. Is he going to be nice? Yeah, he's going to be nice. Let him see a flop. Queen 6 of diamonds for Paul. Good shot for Tony. Best time for Paul. Improves the bottom pair. Tony's going to lead 5,000. Tony's got 50,000 chips here. He's got 11 bigs. I mean, Paul should just have set him in as soon as he moves. Surprised he didn't, to be honest. He managed to keep, let him off the hook there. He passed the best hand anyway. A good online player, Paul is. I would have thought he'd be happily setting him in if he Yeah, he said third, but it's third and a Sunday million. I think he was third and a Sunday million. Mm -hmm. Sorry, actually, he had a deep run in it. One more thousand. Well, he's getting close to ten bigs now. Hanging on. Right. She's in the big blind, though. She's in the big blind. Waiting for the other tables. Yeah, they were me saying that uh, Ali's not going to be struggling with anything less than Ace King. She's got, she's not, she's not daft, you know. She's no, got King Ten of Hearts. She's got King Jack. She's got shoved in with seven bigs. She knows the blinds are coming around. She's already playing seven hand with two, which doesn't help matters. She's tight, but she's not, not that tight. I'd be very shocked if she gets it in with anything less than Ace King. When it's, when it's raised on the ground. Yeah. He's going to pass the suit connectors. He looks a happy shot, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to love a double up against Ellie. And he hit the Broadway on the turn. So he gets out of the way. I haven't even looked yet. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Well, you will be raising this with the two jacks. That's 12,000 to play. Tony will pass. Paul has got the look of someone who's waiting for his bubble to end with his feet on the chair. He passes. Very clean nine straight in the muck. No, we're not going straight in the muck. We're going to have a bit of a pretend dwell and then put them in the muck. What shall I do with my Queen 9 off suit? <laughs> he knew! He knew! <laughs> I find that a lot with players who are tight in the blinds actually. They like to make a big show of mm. what a hard decision this is to fold and don't be raising my blind every time because I'm not going to be folding every time. Yeah, it's not an auto fold when you raise my blind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really quite happy you've woken the action there. How many big stacks apart from Paul are there on this table? No, no, Not no, that no. many chips. Right, the last 
stuff and that was Kevin Stevens who was the guy who was all in for three big blinds and the blinds of 500, 1000 and then trebled up and then doubled up and moved tables and he ended up 23rd just one of them where you almost feel like I should be knocked out straight away <laughs> let me hang on there we go, Paul's using a stack now from the button all in 3-4 clubs call that if you fancy tangling <laughs> fancy bubbling Ellie says it's all in but she's not, I'm sure she's past queen 6 no no, no we had a misclick there, Paul passed the 3-4 and Ellie moved all in with the queen 6 and got it through by the look of it line on line Babis is always playing in the Brighton tournaments, yeah, doesn't yeah. he? Doesn't really travel for the two. Same with Tony Hadley. The guys who you always see when you come down here are always, uh, always good fun. So, deal one more hand, please. Shows in the big round. Babis is thinking about raising another gun. Yeah, it's seven off suit. Fancy that, please? No, thank you. Well, not especially not under the gun. No, not with people like Paul behind who could just no. set you in and say, you know, well, how much is the, how much is twentieth place? Like two grand or something? No, they double your money. One thousand one hundred. Sorry, you got one thousand. I forgot what the buy yeah, was. Yeah. One thousand one hundred. <laughs> you know, you've got to pass pass a lot of hands there if uh, big stack sets you in. You've got ninety thousand total by this, and he is going to pass go. because here comes the real hand. Normal line Otto. Look at that stare down. He was all smiles, wasn't he, last time we looked at him? <laughs> and now he's all business. Was it 20, 20, 27? Looks like 25 he's going to make it, doesn't he? 22 and a half. Since I've come in the country box with you, I haven't really seen Paul throwing his, throwing his stack about. No. Nope. But I would be, to be honest. I'd be putting pressure on players. ICM dictates they should be folding an awful lot of hands when they're right on the bubble. You don't really fancy playing for two days and getting knocked out in the bubble, even if you've got a big hand. No, no, at all. don't really fancy putting your money in. Play like four hands a level. 
Well, I had one, didn't I? The, the World Series Europe Omaha, where, I mean, that bubble, I can't remember how long it went on, six hours, something like that. It was ridiculous. Really? Yeah. Might not be six hours, maybe it was four hours, but it was the, the longest bubble I've ever had. Nearly all of us went from chip leader to shortstop, because you know, there was only two tables. Mm. Nearly all of us had a time when we were up there, then yeah. down there, then double back up there. So Paul the Big Sack's got aces in his hand. Oh, where is it up? Rise and takes it and shows the aces. So he's only playing with the, with the goods. So the card you saw from the last time, you know, just waiting for the next time to uh, get under him. You see the dealer behind us is shuffling the deck on the other table, so we're waiting for table number three. So we're waiting. See the players in the background. They've got. Uh, they've got. Yeah. Yeah, that's like they're playing on the table behind, isn't it? So this is a long hit, something might be happening in, uh, on the outer table. Cards on the other table, I think. Anyone interested in So waiting for uh, table three. So this this has definitely got to be one of them, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah, the old shout from Andy very shortly. 
all in the call on the other table. So we can deal as normal. So that was that was the bubble. That was pocket threes. <laughs> ace queen. Pocket threes for Colin Smith. Ace queen for David Backler. Yep. Poor old David is the unfortunate one. Everyone else has got the good news that they're in the money. Eleven hundred quid. They've all come running back. <laughs> all back to your seats. And Elliot, who was down to six bigs and seven bigs and eight bigs, is now in the money. Well done, everybody. Twenty left. Now it's gambling time, right? <laughs> it's our favourite pit. This is it. Now it's the time Let's to get ready to gamble. Push your way to a final table stack. Straight away, we've got to raise with Ace 5 from Otto. And he gets it through, so Otto wins up. He's still got nine bits. <laughs> So, we're in the dosh. 20 players left. All looking to get one of those nine seats on the final? Yeah, absolutely. That's where the money starts to go, going up in chunks. 29,000 for the winner. Tony Adley counting out his stack there in a kind of question mark formation. <coughs> Yeah, Let's check the club support. Big so stack. Andy, 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 play a short stack now. Jeff, is it is it a case of I still don't want to chuck it in? And I want to try and get myself a nice double up, or is it a case of I want to, I want, I want to just get a double up as soon as possible? I mean, you're, you're a lot more likely to gamble, aren't you? Know, you're more likely to gamble with real hands, yeah. Okay, this, this could because Paul's raised the Babas has shoved on him, and Anthony, well, Tony Adley is one of the big blame kings. Babas is in there. Babas has got king queen as well. He's on the board here. Seventeen percent against the kings of Tony Adley. Don't worry about it, friends here, but up against each other. 60,000. Babas wouldn't have mind playing against the ace jack of Paul. He shoved over the Paul Drey's. Nine, nine, two red cards. Nine, ten. Big hand. Two red cards. Yeah. Nice yeah. yeah. place to find it. Yeah. Counted out the stack. The ace jack gets out of the way. Well, Tony's the all-in player with it, but he's got the keys. Come on, you don't mind. He's got good shots. 
Oh, no one, look. Any more jacks in this deck? And the ace jack as well, should have been that sort of Oh, yeah, he folded a jack as well, didn't he? Yep. He's only got three outs and he needs two of them. What a life, that's how Babis leads his life. Sends Tony Hadley on his bike. Well, the, I guess the good news for Tony is that happened two <coughs> hands later rather than two hands earlier. Cause yeah, absolutely. If you're going to get a bad beat, you may as well get it when you've just yeah. made the money. Mm. Yeah, Babis picks up a hefty stack there. <laughs> He would always call me. No, 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 but you would call me. You would have called me. We're still here, don't worry, we just not going to off for a bit of technical talk. You can already see the actions we've snipped at Cronty since the bubble burst. Yes. Ace 5 is now raising hands under the gun plus 1 for Joe. Joe has raised Bobby's pocket 4s. Pocket 4s just pass. I don't mind that. They don't play very well, do they? Little, little pairs when you get to the latter end of a tournament. You're not really getting a price to flop the set and you don't really want a 3 bet and have to fold. You may as well be 3 bet into any 2 pairs. Well, at least the hanging on with nine bigs. We'll just be the case for gambling because the money is still pretty flat. Or yeah. we're just going to hang down and try and get two cards to double up with. So, so um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think she's going to be folding you know, any pair. You know, put it that way. She won't fold any pair. She won't fold anything. Yeah, I, I think ace nine or above she'll show up. But mm. really, I think she should be, especially in late position, she should be any ace. Most kings. Queen jacks, queen tens. Yeah. Suit connectors. So if I find a gambling hand, and if she gets gets there and gets yeah. lucky, then she's uh, got a bit more manageable stack. Cause I mean, hands like nine <coughs> ten, you know, they don't play too bad because people aren't really going to call you with ace ten. Hopefully, and, you know, you'd be unlucky if you're up against an over pair. Yep. But, I mean, as with all poker, it's fairly card dependent. People can tell you all the like that they can play without the cards, but it is fairly card dependent. Pretty impossible to win without turning over the best hand sometimes. Paul is going to raise a two block fives here, no doubt. He's on the button. Uh, Ellie shoved on Paul. She's 
Put it all in. She's got two eights. That's a nice situation, isn't it? And Otto's got king queen. Ellie really wants Otto to pass here. Oh, we got all in. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. She doesn't play well against Otto's hand, but hopefully he's going to pass. Yeah, uh, he's flipping them in. And Mark is going to, uh, sorry, Paul is going to have to call. And that she's going to have good news that she's perfect shape. I like how she always stands up when she's got the best hand. She's she's like that. That. She always does it. No, no, no. no well, she's <laughs> just sit down. Yep. Yeah. She always does oh, it. Oh, let's sit back. Oh, look at that. Set or set or oh, she, she's only. Oh, 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 she had like 20 bigs now. Yeah, right in our comfort zone. I don't want to run so good, it's coming. So Ellie's right back in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was already on the nice table as well. Yeah, 20 bigs now. 20 bigs in the middle. Stuck for leveling out a little bit. Which is not good news for Tower to get his uh, power nap in tonight. <laughs> How many levels have we got left tonight? We played end of level, end of nine. I think we've got one left, one left after this. There's a break and then there's one more level. So we might get the final table. Mm, I, said uh, I said 13. I said 13. The short sets keep doubling up. Mm. So a big smile on the face now. Ellie can uh, three bit fold once. Be surprised if she does that. Yeah, so you don't really want to do it any more than once. Here. Well, she's three bit. She's probably got it anyway. To be honest, so she can fold in. Bodice under the gun. Couple board of cards. Good enough for a raise. Ten thousand five hundred. Oh, right. He gets some hands, this poor fella. He does. <laughs> He's three bits. I'll tell you, 100% fact, if Bavis could see the cards here, he would happily stick this in and gamble. Mm. He loves the gamble, does Bavis. But he doesn't know that he's not dominated, does he? I thought it was on the thing. Just four off suit, can probably let that go. is going to pass again. So two two laps running. See, if I was the big blind one today, uh, Joe, two laps running, he's raised under the gun, he's been three there and he's going to pass. And you think, what are you raising my blind with? It's so bad mm -hmm. and he's instantly pass every time he's got three. Well, stacks are easing up there. Tony Biggs is the uh, shortest, which is seat nine lead. Ellie's got just <coughs> about the same. Yeah. I love you, Julian. You can listen. Hi, hi. I do love you. That's a thing. But you do run okay. It was a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> So 20 minutes down, Lewis Gate, 20 minutes, there will be a break in play. Still got 19 left, isn't it? 20, uh, is it still 20? Sure Might be 20. 20. We're playing 6 under on this table anyway, so we know that we're... Uh, so that could be 6, 7, 7. Yeah, so we could no, have 20, we could have 19. Mm. We do, as soon as we get to 18, we'll break the two tables, yeah. which will be these two tables, you can see. Yep. So the whole tournament will be in this room. It's interesting now, though, that these chip stacks, you can play with a poke now, can't you? You can raise with, yeah. raise with absolute filth and not be committed to, to calling. There's no, no short stacks desperately shoving somebody. No. 
Interesting day. We started with 71. We're down to 20. We got into the money. We got uh, one more level to go to get to the final table. I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm guessing. I said 13 at the beginning of the day. <laughs> yeah, it's not very often I'm wrong, but I'm right again. <laughs> well, we're 20 players short of the guarantee, yeah, and we've still got 13 left after day two. Mm. I guess it doesn't make too much difference the amount of runners. No, no, the structure the is all important, isn't it? So at least found the well, butchers. That, I'm not being funny, but Paul's got ace 10 again. He's, he's hand after hand after hand after hand at the moment. So he's, uh, he's throwing the ball <laughs> done. He's been three bit by Ali when he's raised under the gun. Yeah. He's passing ace queen on main days. Well, he passed ace king to her before when she got when he got three bet and she, she she'd only got ace queen. And I thought he would. Uh, I thought he was a bit soft, but ace ten. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get out of the way again. There you go. He must either know a game inside out. She shows him, anyway, she shows him the cowboys this time. Just a lot of Absolutely no value if you have. Does the old can I keep these two cards? Probably not the best idea when you've shown everyone what they are anyway. She should have said yes, shouldn't they? And then set her in. Yeah. 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 See a flop and set her in. Paul hasn't had a few hands, he hasn't won many of them, has he? He's no. run into a bad situation. Yeah. I think all, all the, most of this session he's had some decent hands, and a lot of people have been loving these cards, but like you say, it's, it's whether he gets paid with them or not, or whether he loves the chips. Yeah. Another getting to pocket kings if the next bloke gets pocket aces. Yes, he's still in. Yep. So still on twenty. We're breaking on about fifteen minutes time, fifteen, sixteen minutes time. We'll be breaking in twenty hours because we definitely lost Tony Adley in twentieth place. So we're on nineteen and nineteen we must be on, wasn't we? Because we're playing six hundred this day. Right? Ah, that, yes, yes. You are right. We got 20 in the money, and Tony yeah. had his definite <laughs> chance. <laughs> so he's gone 19. He's worked it out. He's got clubs for the road. He's raised the hijack. Ellie's got 5 6. And he's rolling them up. Defending 6 5 off from the big blind. Not the best lot. Not for 6 5. I think Joel, Joel, see about this with a good shot. He looks happy enough, doesn't he? He's got a big smile on his face. There we go. He's going to muck just 5,000 chips too late. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I had the best hand. Just 
interesting when you watch with the cards first, isn't it? So you can nearly every hand. Like it's like when you watch high stakes poker when you watch Tom Tom Glam play. Yeah. Nearly every hand you could think if she could just pull the trigger there, if she could yeah, check yeah, raise yeah. there. What would he do there? And then, and then she'd have to fire the turn, and then he'd be in a world of hurt. You know, and nearly every hand and no limit holding. You see, because people are so far away from the nuts so many times. Yep. Nearly every time, if you show a lot of aggression, you would win hands. But yep. it only takes oh. that to go wrong oh. once, oh. and uh, oh. that's your tournament over. Oh. <coughs> 13 minutes to the break, 30 minutes to wind up. Joe, who just raised the last hand, is going to raise the next one as well. 10 and a half again. Another gun. Is he going to get three better than Pat? <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 yeah, it's Babbitt's on Joe's line. Oh, look, like, we have a new, new players coming in, so we're down to 18. We're down to 18, the table fills up. Who's our new players? That's uh, oh, Ben Windsor. Yeah, ben Windsor coming back. He's got two, tra two trays of chips, as always. Yep. Callum Smith. And then we've got a brand new table. Yeah. Callum Smith in seat two. Who's in seat one? I don't know, we've not seen the face. We don't know seat one. We've not seen the face. <laughs> That's Fraser Bellamy in the background looking for his table. He's gone onto the other table, so Fraser's still in for anybody anybody railing him. He's a bit of a Ricky Gervais look like, isn't he? Fraser? Mm. Must be some work in that when the photos are <laughs> So we got ice cream <coughs> Joe. Wow, that's a big turn card. Joe, who checked behind with the second pair, is now now hitting ace on turn. Ace is up, but Otto has now got a straight draw, a push draw, and a pair. So he ain't filling this. Otto's checked. I wonder if he's checked raising here. Joe's got a bet here, isn't he? Bet 7k, that's a small bet. Who's drawn a straight draw in a pair and he's only he's 4 to 1 dog? Um, 3 to 1 dog. 3 to 1 dog is tough tough life, isn't it? Mm. You yeah. think you think when you when you see that turn card, you've got so many outs. Such a weak bet, that's 7k and a 25 is bet there. Otto's thinking, what does that weakness mean? Does that mean he's, he's got something? Does that mean he's got nothing? Does that mean my 7 might be good? So I've got the absolute lock. Did he get set? No, I thought it was a No, no, it's the new player it passing, was. His, <laughs> passing his chip. <laughs> Big stack, hasn't he, Ben Windsor? He's got a tall 7k, hasn't he? Well, I mean, you think they're raising, isn't he? You're defending, you're defending your big line with 7 jack and you hit the board like that on the turn. Surely you've got to be tall. Well, I know, he's not, he's not thinking of passing, he's thinking of raising. He's, he's definitely not passing. I think he's probably going to check raise. He's, yeah, he's got a handful of yard chips now, fumbling them about. Yeah. Splash, looks like 30k. Joe 100% isn't passing this. 40k is made. Wow, 7k that raised to 40. How much does that look like a draw? Somebody wants to make it six times your bet. If that's not a draw, what have they got back? Pretty deep stack. Mm. I think if I'm Joe, I like calling here and see what he does on the end. Having a good think, Joe. He's definitely not passing here. I think he's got a call to be honest. It's certainly too deep to be jamming. No, I mean... Do you not think? No, not really. I mean, I don't, I don't hate jamming. I just don't think Otto's calling with his uh, with his draw. Your hand's so big, I think, I think I'm calling here. And you're in position. Mm. If a club comes and he's still... Are you calling to see an absolute brick on the river like this? You're hoping so. What, what we'll go on, we'll set a four of diamonds. Yeah. A small red card is what, is what Joe wants to see. Let's see what he gets. Oh. Five of hearts, that's a small red card. Now, now, now it's the interesting situation because mm. now what's Otto going to do? Kind of thought he had to draw by his bet size on the turn. Now what's he going to do? He's going to give up? He's got a pair of sevens. I mean, you can't ever think that's winning once he gets called on that turn, can he? No. It's hard to, since he's got all the draws, it's hard to, uh, hard to put Joe on a hand that's going to bet call. A you be, yeah, you've also got to be thinking that if, he does, if Otto does cheat, that Joe's not going to be too scared of that board, really, is he? I so think he's going to bet out. Well, Joe might not. Joe might check behind if he, if he 
he might be scared, it turns out he might be scared of getting trapped and he might think that if he's got a busted draw there's no point letting him. But the, the fact he's in position gives gives him the chance to let Otto have a go for this. Otto's having a good thing, has he got the uh, has he got the bullet in the gun to shoot or is he just gonna check and give up? He's still thinking. <coughs> he's thinking, can I play this like I've got ten jack? What would I do if I had ten jack? Checked. See, I think he either has to check or he has to bet like seventy thousand there, mm. you know, and it's it's a big thing to out of your hundred and fifty thousand to stick seventy thousand in. I think Joe can go for value here, but I wouldn't be surprised if he checked behind. It's all very well for thinking you've got the best arm, which he probably does, but he's also got to think that oh, he's got a hand that's in the column as well. I mean, you can risk him back there. It's difficult to really see what Otto can have. I mean, Otto could have turned the nice the same as he did, I guess. Ten-jack. 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 for a value bet, I think. <coughs> I'm going to hope that Otto's got a hand like Ace-jack, I think, to pick up equity on the turn as well. Slow. Mm. If he's slow and deliberate, I hope these guys don't play online, they get timed out every time. <laughs> maybe they do play online and this is the, the rest bite. Mm, yeah, maybe. This yeah. is the, I can take five minutes every end. Counting down stacks. So what was already checked. So I was just thinking, do I value that? Am I scared? No, he puts a big value bet in. He's not scared. 65,000. Well, a three minute tank to put a bet in, surely a snap fold. Yep, exactly right. Yeah, he bets. Mm. Bet big. Otto had nothing. I think Otto's going to be pleased that he, uh, that he did check on the end there, though. I don't like Otto's bet sizing on the turn, though. I just think he made it too obvious he had a draw there. I mean, if he did have 10 jack, he's not going to make yeah. 7 to 40,000, is he? <coughs> so, we have new players at the table. We have indeed, and we're down to 18. Just approaching the break, last break of the day. Nice tweet from Aaron Helmore. <coughs> Played his second GUKPT main, main event and cashed again. <laughs> That's the kind of tweet you want, isn't it? Aaron Elmore, well done, sir. So, six minutes of the break. <coughs> Suited connectors for Lee and the Rangers too. He's going to raise that up. Jack, who did I know? That's Aaron in suit one. Uh, so did he come up as Aaron? Mm -hmm. well, there you go. So he's tweeting from the table saying that he's already in the money. He yeah. made two, made the money twice. Let's see, how, see how far he can go. Well done, that man. I don't know, Aaron, much of Aaron, I would have said, if you went to Aaron. Well, he's double A. So, he's always on his back. A double all the way. What was the Aaron. French uh, national team manager? The one up his nuts. The one he did like any day. Is it? Yeah. Is he going to lay the blow? Uh, 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 really no. bad at football. The shot's not on you. No, 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 Blanc. He's got the money back. He's raised with the Queen Jack. He's got the Queen Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. there. He's in Paris with WSP. Flash is the same. I always feel a bit picked on. I don't think you haven't got a chip in the pot for a while. When you finally do, the big stack picks on you. But it's very, very often it's the cards that dictate that rather than him thinking I'm going to have that pen. Yeah, the sham. So we have a full table, your champion is either on this table or the table behind. 18 players left. Shame Flushy went out, really good to see him on make a final table in his hometown. No, I just spoke to him actually, he's just gone out for drinks but he, I just spoke to him, he said that 
He had a bizarre situation where he had a feeling that the guy to his right could see the guy to his right's cards. And the guy to the guy two to his right raised the guy to his right just flat calls well. And he thought he could see his cards and thought he could be flat calling with anything. So he was rolling with ace ten and the guy had flat called the queen. Yeah. So he kind of convinced himself that there was some devious kind of flashing cards going on. Oh, okay. He said the fellow wasn't protecting his hand very well and uh, it's getting a, getting a bit annoying. Yeah, he always plays with class, James. He's a good player. I need to watch that WPT final. Game. I've never seen it. I want to watch it on Poker Channel. No, no, okay. It wins about 900,000 for that. Paul's raised again. He just three bet last number queens. He's got ace queen up to this time in the hijack. Otto doesn't have any cards in front of him, so I presume he tossed. And Joe has peeled the ace nine of clubs on the big blinds. Kind of standard. He's going to be a bit wary though. Who, who was the original one <coughs> just spotted him. Oh, this is out flopped him actually. Ace Jack against Ace Queen against Ace Knight. It's one of those King Jack. How many aces are in this deck? All the aces. So every, everybody's got tough there. Pavis, who had the second best hand, has now flopped the best hand with Ace Jack. Paul, Paul has got top pair with a good shot. And Joe has got top pair. With Pavis bets and they both call them. Uh, it'll be interesting if a diamond comes here because they, they're going to put one of them on a diamond draw here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, queen on the turn. <laughs> this is just wow. <laughs> it's very hard for anyone to have a 10 here, even though there's a one card straight. You know, people can have ace 10. Ace queen has out turned him. Check, check, check on the turn. Let's we'll see what the river action is going to be. Joe's first to speak, he's got top pair. Everyone else in the hand's got two pair. There's a one card straight. Bavis going to go for value. No, he checks. Good check by Bavis. <coughs> well, I think Paul should have bet there. I think Paul should have got some value for his hand there. No, Bavis will be thanking his lucky star there. He's got aces up against a better aces up, and he's just been checked behind. He needs to bet there. <coughs> It's just hard for someone to have a 10 in that hand, isn't it, when it wouldn't flop action. Yes, of course they can have ace 10 or jack 10, but mm. it's very unlikely they're going to have checked it around twice. They're going to be looking for value for their hand. If you're in the position there, I think you're going to take it there. Yep. Where's Ellie? Is Ellie going for a break? Don't worry. She's gone early. Isn't she? So I think she's going to get some kind of jacket. All right, okay. But yeah, I think we're very close to the break here, aren't we? We are in indeed. Two minutes, I guess. The last break of the day, 15 minutes to level, <coughs> and then we've got one more level to try and get to the final table. 18 down to 9, probably won't happen. <coughs> but, uh, Towers are sure there's going to be 13 left. I stopped 13, I stopped 13 at the start of the play today. No, you didn't. Not with you, I didn't, but I did with him. Right. I did with Dave. In fact, it was George. Yeah, I mine was Mary. Mary. <laughs> well, Mary. There is. Mary. Who's Mary? Mary's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, she's quite contrary, you don't know. Yeah. Pocket fives. Where's it up? I don't know, pocket fives fold it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. No. <laughs> don't. Good old George. Here's Callum in the pot now. Race seven. Race seven and a half. Stand of the level. Well, well, he's got back just in time to find kings again. I'm guessing the last hand of the level is upon us. 15 minute break to wet the whistle. She's got to peel some of these big hands. What's she going to do mm. here? Twice she's picked up kings behind her eyes. Yep. What's she done? What's happened? I think she must have. Well, he's took his cards and Ellie, what's Ellie done? Ellie's not done anything. He's folded out a turn, I think. Oh, he's folded out a turn, is he? Yeah. Telling off. Is she just going to jump? It would, look, it, would, it would be better to jump, wouldn't it, than three bridge? She's got 20 bigs. It's Which is the third spin. time she's had cowboys in this orbit. Not this orbit. Well, <coughs> orbit and <in> two hours. <coughs> so, 
Yeah, what's Ollie going to do? She, I think she's had a peel or jam. No, I think that's, that's bad. Hmm? 30,000. I don't like that. She's three bet a third of her stuff. <coughs> oh, Colin, you can face by a three bet for a third of us. It looks super strong. Very suspicious. And that is it. That is all you need. 30,000 straight in. And the session back in 15 minutes for the last one of the day. Time for a pint? Aye, please.